everyone, Deb here. I um, am so, 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 so sorry about my disappearance. It's, um, it's really bad. The holidays came and um, my mom was in town and then it was my birthday and whatever, terrible excuses, but um, time just kind of got away from me. Um, and I actually haven't even really been keeping track of my symptoms, which at the time was nice because I was just kind of living life, but now I regret because I wish I could tell you guys exactly what was happening week by week. Um, but what I can tell you is, so like I left you off at week 13. So in week 14, I was still really tired. The last notes I have for week 14 are tired, tired, tired. <laughs> so, um, and I was really frustrated because I, I was like, I just kept wanting to, um, <laughs> there's like my, the computer is like reflecting off my nose, which is really super attractive. Um, the... Um, week 14 was really frustrating because I, I thought that I would start to have energy by then and I didn't, but it's interesting because slowly but surely, um, I've been gaining energy since then. And I think it probably started in week 15 is when I started to get some energy back. Um, really, really incrementally though, like I barely noticeable until all of a sudden I was like, wait, I just like did laundry and, um, took the dog for a walk and it. It didn't even dawn on me that I had the energy to do it. I just did it because that's my life. Um, so, it, and I was like, oh, I have the energy. So that's kind of how it started to happen. Um, I am now 19 weeks. Um, just yesterday, I turned 19 weeks, and which is very exciting. Um, when on my 16th week, um, appointment, we met with a midwife who was, um, who works in my doctor's like group. Um, and I asked her, well, first of all, we went to the appointment and I'd been really working. My mom was in town. I'd been really working hard on my blood pressure and having like no salt, um, no sodium. And my blood pressure went way down, which was so exciting. So that was really awesome to see that at the doctor's office. And then she was like, okay, so you're 16 weeks. And I was like, no, I'm 14 weeks. And she was like, um, <laughs> let me do it again. And she like takes her little wheel out. She was like, nope, 16 weeks. And I was like, oh yeah, I am 16 weeks. It was such a like pregnancy brain moment. I felt like such an idiot. Cause like, I obviously knew I was 16 weeks. I just, I don't know. It just seemed like 16 weeks seemed like so far along. And I didn't <laughs> feel that far along, which it even, I don't know. It's not that far along, but in my mind, I was like, oh, it can't be 16 weeks. That's really far along. <laughs> so she was, she was very funny. We all had a good laugh at that. And I uh, convinced her to do a little ultrasound so that my mom could see the baby. Um, it took a little bit of convincing, but um, she was really sweet and she did it. And it was just in like a crappy little office machine. Um, so the imagery was really bad, but she, my mom got to see the baby moving around, which was really special. Um, so that was 16 weeks. And then I also, at that appointment, got the order to do the Mother 21, something like that, <laughs> where it's the test where they take your the mother's blood and test for um, genetic abnormalities in the blood. Because if there are genetic abnormalities, they're most likely coming from the fetus. So it's a kind of another, it's after the nuchal fold, there's, this is the second test, non-invasive, um, as, a, as a Down syndrome indicator and other things. So that happened on, on week 16. So um, almost three weeks ago, about two and a half weeks ago. Um, and what else? Week 17, so the biggest changes over these weeks, um, my nausea's gone, like no stomach issues, unless I get I have an empty stomach, and then I don't feel well, but as soon as I eat, I feel better. My um, blood pressure went down. My boobs are humongous, like they're even bigger than they were before, which is making me really uncomfortable. Like I can't find a bra that fits. <laughs> got rashes on the sides of my breasts because the bras I'm wearing, the ones I did get that do fit, 
that I went to a dermatologist and he was like, I don't know, it looks, it just looks like you're having an allergic reaction maybe to the dye because I'm so sweaty. <laughs> like I just, oh my God, things that you never knew or thought could happen to your body during pregnancy. And it's just, ah, um, I think I mentioned this, but maybe not. I also like thought I had a yeast infection in my breasts, not like on my breasts. I think I mentioned that last time. Um, but he said, no, it's not a yeast infection. It's like an allergic reaction, some kind of like dermatitis or something. Um, and the fact that it's on the sides, it's kind of like the pressure point for where bras don't fit, you know, that don't fit. That's where they kind of push in. Um, so he recommended getting bras that fit, which I was like, oh, really? Thanks. <laughs> I'll get on that. Like, I'm not trying everywhere to find a bra that fits these humongous things that are on my body. Um, but also to wear like no bras that are as close to natural as possible without um, any dye because the bras that I bought were black bras. And he thinks that maybe it's the dye is with the sweat. It can like leak out and touch your skin and irritate it. Which doesn't sound good anyway. Like, I don't really want that stuff touching my skin. So, um, I'm on the hunt for bras that fit, um, and that are comfortable, which is, I'm not sure they exist. So, um, most recently I've gone online and I'm trying to, I ordered some maternity bras because I'm hoping they will be more comfortable, but we'll see. Um, right now I have one bra that doesn't fit, but doesn't cause a rash and is semi-comfortable-ish. So it's getting to be dire straits over here. Um, my belly is definitely getting bigger. Um, I haven't gained that much weight. I Last time I weighed myself, which was, was probably about a week ago, um, I had gained... Um, eight pounds since, um, I got pregnant, um, 10 pounds since like pre hormones and stuff. So, um, I think that's right. I'm sorry. I'm messing this up. This is why I need to write it down every week. Ah, um, so I think it was, it was like eight pounds one day and then five pounds another day. So I'm somewhere in between five and eight pounds up. Um, one thing that's really helped me control my weight is the fact that I'm on this no sodium diet or low sodium diet. Um, you know, like there's chocolate cake at work today that I definitely would have had a piece of, but I can't because it probably has sodium in it. And I, you know, unless I make it or it has a label, I can't really eat it. Um, so that's helpful in some ways, frustrating in others. Um, I also... So my birthday was last weekend, last week, and so my husband Steve took me away for the weekend, and we just like rented a cabin on the coast of Maine. It was so beautiful. Um, it was really lovely, and I definitely cheated a little bit on the sodium diet. Um, also on the week of my birthday, I had a couple of little cheats here and there, but my blood pressure was so low. I was like, oh, I'm you know maybe I don't need to be that low, and then but. Today, blood pressure is right back up to where it was, and um, I'm really is just like, damn, like I can't cheat at all. I really need to stay on this low sodium diet, but it also super motivated me to start exercising. So now that I have more energy, I really have no excuse to not exercise. Um, I'm also getting really worried about birth, um, so I'm going to start prenatal yoga because I just feel like I need to do some strengthening and get my body into better shape so that the birthing experience isn't, um, or just to make that as easy as possible, whatever that means. Um, so today I exercise and I'm hoping that will also help with my blood pressure. So I'm really out of breath, but I think that's also from lack of exercise. So hopefully that will get a little bit better. Um, what else? I definitely feel her moving, and Steve has felt her a couple times, um, if you catch her at the right moment. Um, it was actually really cool. The other day, he was talking to my belly, and she kicked, like, right 
as he was talking. It was really so cool. Um, I was like, whoa! And he was like, what happened? I was like, she kicked! And he was like, because I was talking to her! It was really exciting. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So that's pretty much it. Um, besides my need to start um, buying some more clothes that are longer, you know, like maternity clothes, they go longer um, because all my shirts are like <laughs> creeping up between my boobs and my belly. Um, they just really, I maybe can squeeze another week out of them, I feel like, before I start to show some belly um, with these shirts. So um, I found a couple of shirts from uh, Peeing in the Pod, which are so expensive, but they're so, the shirts are so nice and they're like really soft and comfortable and tight and they go um, below my crotch, which is really nice. So I think I might buy myself a couple more of those just as everyday base layers. Um, and then the search for the perfect bra that, I don't even need it to be perfect, I just need it to fit and not cause a rash. I feel like that's not a lot to ask when it comes to bras, but I don't know, maybe I'm looking in the wrong places. I just, my, they're so big, um, they're in my way, and it's, they hurt, like, the skin kind of hurts, it's kind of crazy. My nip, nipples are really sensitive still, too. Um, so, I think that's it. Um, discharge is still happening. Awesomeness. Um, definitely have to pee more often. Definitely more thirsty. Um, and that's it. I just, with my diet, been trying to, um, work really hard at having enough protein. I think it's 80 milligrams they recommend, which as a vegetarian is actually really hard to do. So I'm eating a lot of yogurt. I did buy some protein powder, um, to put in my smoothies, which helps a lot, makes it a lot easier. Um, and especially with like low salt diet, just, you know, it's getting to be a little tricky to find things to eat, especially when I'm like really hungry. <laughs> if you want something right right away, there's almost nothing I can eat right away. Um, a lot of eggs, hard boiled eggs. That's a good go to. Um, I think that's it. So again, I'm so sorry that it's been so long since I've made a video. Um, I'm back on track. I will try to do these every week. And actually on Friday we have our 20 week anatomy scan, which we are so excited for. So um, on Sunday, when I turn 20 weeks halfway point, um, we will, I will, I'll post about that. I'll talk about that. Um, and also maybe some nursery stuff, which we haven't really started, but um, I'm looking forward to doing. So anyway, thanks everyone for sticking with me. Again, I'm so sorry. Happy New Year. I hope everyone had a lovely, awesome holiday. And um, yay. So I will um, update you guys on Sunday. Thanks for sticking with me. Bye.